Greetings viewers at home, I am your boy Masana Shirindi and I'm your host for today from Africa Connect and Edbook Media and I have an amazing wonderful guest from Snakes in the City, please help me welcome Simon, how are you sir? I'm good sir, thank you very much for being here today. Nice well, to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too, I must say it's really 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 great to see you. So tell me this, um, what should we expect from the brand new season, season 8 of uh, Snake in the City? Good, well every season is different as you know, it gets more exciting as we feel more and more episodes but this season we got an apprentice it's in Bali she's uh, we've taken her on to help us with, the, with all the snake captures so expect some exciting episodes with her we've been training her up she's doing well so the doors open and see what happens oh well that's great news so tell me I've also heard like um, you once got bitten by a snake like um, once a black mamba no it's actually a copperhead from North America which is a type of pit viper uh, it's actually while I was here in South Africa many years ago 2007 I was sexing some babies about a foot long and when I put the lid on, one of the ones in the container left the floor and just got me on the finger as I was closing the lid. And then, yeah, I was instantly vomiting everywhere, being sick, my arms swelled up like a balloon. Two weeks of health, there's no antivenom here. And it went black, I had to have uh, antibiotic injections. It was pretty nasty, maybe pretty ill. But touch wood, <laughs> that was the only bite, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I well. try to be careful, I try to avoid being bitten. Obviously we get bitten all the time but are non-venomous ones because we can just pick them up with our hands. Yeah, yeah. Sure. But the venomous ones you've got to be super careful. Ah oh, man, I must say, where you are, you made it and you're surviving. So what is it that you would tell the young kids? Like, um, I see there was a lot of kids here around, yeah, so like kids. inspiration, what would you tell them? Maybe the next um, snake in the CT who's going to catch snakes and uh, yeah. What, well, what? it's great. We've got a lot of children that you know, love the show and adults too. But the children, we always say to them, you know, if you love nature, that's fantastic. We try and teach the children because they're our next generation. Shoot. And, and if you come across a snake, please don't just pick it up because you need to know what that is because they often ask us, can we pick a snake up? You must never touch a snake unless you 100% know, but you can tell your parents and if they're not sure, then you can call like a snake catcher or someone that actually knows to help you. So we try to educate, but the people are, are very important and the children are very important because the planet, as you know, is in a bit of a state and we need to look after wildlife and snakes are just amongst it, you know? Well spoken. So um, speaking about maybe if I come across a snake, um, how, how, how should I contact you? How am I going to reach you? What numbers should I contact? Please yeah. give us your plug. Like okay, well the best thing, depending on what area you live in South Africa. I mean we obviously film in Durban mainly. We have done some work in Joburg and Cape Town. And the best thing is look, at, look in your directory for the local snake catchers because there's generally lots of snake catchers in different areas. Mm -hmm. And if you're in Durban, while we're there filming, well, our numbers put out all the time. It's all over social media. You can easily find us, and then you can just give us a call. Sometimes we might get there, the snake has already gone. Or sometimes you might have seen a snake the day before. If you see a snake, the best thing to do is watch it from a distance. Don't interfere with it. And then if you can take a photo as well, that's even better, but don't get yourself too close. A snow will let, snake will only hurt you if you try to hurt it. They will always try to get away. But if it's in your home or something like that, uh -huh. the best thing is to close the doors, close the windows from the outside, and conce conceal the snake to the house. Don't run out your house screaming, and leave all the doors and windows open, because the snake will also be scared, and it might escape. Then we end up looking through the whole house for nothing. True that. Yeah, so you always shut the doors and the windows. That's the best advice. Okay, well, we do appreciate the advice. So, um, uh, I, I really, I'm truly grateful for your time and all that. So, um, yeah, so where can we get you, like, social media or anything? Like, yeah, what on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitter. Yeah, pretty much all on the social media platforms. By the name, so people can sign. Yeah, you can put Google Snakes in the City, Simon and Susie, or we've got a Simon and Susie fan page, uh, even, or Nat Geo Wild, we're also on there, so yeah, we're pretty easy to find. You can't miss Susie's pink hair, surely. Uh, <laughs> you know, she kind of stands out. True that, I agree, I agree. Um, well, uh, I'm truly grateful for your time, and um, well, it's been, that's it. Um, it's your boy, Masana Shirindi, and please make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, by Masana Shirindi. Don't forget, cheers, thank you for your time.